So this is my Windows uh, 10 computer and I'm going to install Ubuntu and Windows on the same machine. It's an Acer Aspire E15 and as you can see on my computer I have a disk C here and if I go for disk and hard drive partitions you can see that I have a disk 0 which is a Windows and I have this I have a disk 1 which I want to use for Ubuntu so Windows is installed on disk 0 and I have a memory stick for Ubuntu this is the memory stick and it's a bootable Ubuntu memory stick so just plug it in and here it is the Ubuntu 17.10 AMD 64 memory stick so now I'm ready to go into the BIOS so we'll just start the computer or reboot the computer and I will click F2, F2, F2 to go into the BIOS and here I have information about my computer and at main the, this is uh, the place where you need to change things so network boot should be disabled F12 boot menu should be enabled wake up and alarm should be disabled touchpad uh, it should be advanced uh, lid open resumes should be enabled uh, D2 recovery should be enabled and GPD partition recovery should be none okay so if you have set this uh, it's everything is okay you can change the values by uh, hitting F5 and F6 next is, is uh, the security tab and I, I will just zoom in here this is very important you have some things uh, called a supervisor password and if you click here at set supervisor password and you just write Acer then you have a set a super, uh, supervisor password and you should have uh, the, the password on boot as disabled then you should go to boot and boot mode should be UEFI and the secure boot should be enabled here are the partition order so HDD1 is my SSD hard drive for Windows 10 HDD0 is my hard drive for Ubuntu I have also the USB memory stick so I want to uh, take uh, take every uh, just leave everything as it is now. So just go for uh, exit, and here I have something called exit saving changes. So I will just go for it and enter yes. So when you boot now you can click F12 to come to the boot menu. And here uh, I have the options of uh, actually booting from Windows Boot Manager or the Linux USB Traveler Stick. So I will just uh, press Linux and here I will go for install Ubuntu
Okay, first is a language, so just speak English. And I will connect to my Wi Fi. Okay, now we got some uh, things we need to do before we can install. So we need to update, download updates while installing Ubuntu and we want to install the third party software for graphic and hard drive, MP3 and other media. So it will ask you for a password for the secure boot. So just write Acer. One two three four. Hey sir. One two three four. And then click continue. And next, we want to install Ubuntu alongside Windows Boot Manager. And then just click continue here. And then enter your keyboard. I have Norwegian keyboard. And then enter your name. And pick a password. So just pick Acer one two three four. And click encrypt my home folder and then continue. Okay, Ubuntu is now ready, it has been installed, so let's click restart now. Okay, so now the computer is starting, so hit F2 and write Acer, and you're inside the BIOS again. So let's go to security. And let's go down to select an UEFI file as trusted for executing. And hit enter here. And click uh, hit enter on HDD0. And hit enter on EFI. And here you can see you have Microsoft and you have Ubuntu. So highlight Ubuntu and press enter. And here you can see different files. I have one called fwupx64.efi, have groups.x64.efi, shimx64.efi, and mnx64.efi. So we want to have the group, group B6x. by F2 and the computer password is Acer. So let's go to boot and at the bottom we got EFI file boot 0 group 64 EFI. Um, so inside the BIOS we have at the boot you can see at the bottom we got something called EFI file boot 0 Group X64 EFI. So if you use F5, you can move this to the top and it will always boot in Ubuntu. So 
So another method of putting Ubuntu. So now press F12. And I have a group CX64 EFI. So if I press, if I boot that one, it will load Ubuntu. Mm -hmm. 